she lose us? Is she? I don't know. I feel I, bad I, now. I feel like where was she when you were done? She was she at a payphone, which should have been close. She was at a payphone. Yeah. Like she Weren't was. you on Barrington earlier? Okay. Do you know where? Do you know where? It. What is it? It stand. It. Card. Card. Shucks. Spike. <laughs> She's so angry. Is she really? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so what can you tell us? About yeah. Off, away from the Roy Building, towards <laughs> Spring Garden. Can you film this? You know where? Uh -oh. Tonight on Offset, performers Stuart Heisler and Karen Mayan, and special guest, actress Sonia O'Hara. Can you film this? You know where? Um, so let's just get started. I'm standing here with two people. I'm excited about this interview because A, you guys are both working constantly, and that's rare around here for, for a lot of people. It is, I've yeah. seen both of you. I've seen your work. We're going to get into that. You don't even know some of the work I've seen from uh -oh. you guys. Uh-oh. That's yep. a little scary. Also, okay. I Googled both your names last uh -oh. night, found some other stuff. Oh, Maybe we'll talk about that as well. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. One of the few, few times I've ever actually done research. For guests, so nice. yep. you did your homework. I did, All but right. uh, let's start off with who am I standing with right now? I am Karen Myatt, and I'm Stuart Heisler. Now you guys are no strangers, right? We didn't just randomly pair the two of you together. No, no. we met on the stage, darling. We did. Yes, yes, quite a few years ago, five or six years ago, we started working together, mm -hmm. and then we didn't see each other for a few years. But then we met up again in New York and uh, started collaborating. Yes. How long have you guys both uh, been performing in New York? Um, I've been there for the last five years. I think in February it'll be five years. And I've lived there for three or four years on and off over, over the years. When you go there, if you're in theater school there, they beat your Canadian dialect out of you mm -hmm. because you just get ridiculed to the point where you just want to cry every day. So they just beat it out of you. They make you talk American. And people so, can't yeah. understand what you're saying with your Canadian dialect. Right. They're just like, what is that you're saying? Yeah. Clue. Are there certain words that were more difficult for you to get rid of? <clears throat> I used to say bean. You know, I haven't been there. I guess that's very British. Mm -hmm. I don't think a lot of people even say that here, but they it's been. I haven't wow. been there. Right. Yeah. And okay. again, I used to say again, and they, again. they they beat that out of me. And we had a girl from uh, Baltimore, with that terrible Baltimore oh, accent. God. Tails. Oh, Put God. the tails in the wash. And the worst. Almonds. Yeah. So, you don't want to hear that in Shakespeare, it's a no. problem. Or like the ghetto talk, <laughs> Yeah, it's the worst. We had a guy from Buffalo. <laughs> Uh-oh, is he going to be watching this right now? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Hi. <laughs> Arise, fair son, and kill the envious moon. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or the quality of mercy, it ain't strain, it droppeth like a gentle rain. She was like, that's all I remember. Uh, see, I would hire them. <laughs> I would say, let's build a whole show around that. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's there true. you go. You would have to. The guys who feel like they're on top are those guys that are built like mountains. They like to pose every time they walk past a mirror. The Roid Rexes. The No Neck Neros. The Hamstring Kings. The Posing Peacocks. Are you doing the show here or are you doing the show somewhere else? Well, we've done a couple of shows here. We, we wrote two shows and put them together and uh, performed them. We've started a small company that, that we're uh, going to continue producing shows. And we're taking our first show to Montreal and to New York in February. The name of the show is? Immigrant Intent. <laughs> <laughs> it's about Canadians living in New York trying to be actors. Wow. Right. It's a good thing we talked about that. Just yeah, exactly. Kind of yeah. No, it was it. a good, exactly. good lead-in. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so what can you tell us about... Oh. There we go. Oh. <laughs> One of our many fans. Our fans. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. There they go. Um, so the show, uh, what can you tell us about the show? Well, it's um, true stories from Big Apple and songs. So we kind of interweave our experiences with music and story. And we kind of act out some of the crazy experiences that we've had 
from the city, which is like endless. Um, it's kind of shocking sometimes and kind of sweet sometimes and it's a little bit of everything, I think, yeah. all different styles. Yeah. yeah. It's funny and poignant and ridiculous. It's hilarious, it is hilarious. It's a laugh a minute. You guys are allowed to say it's hilarious? Yes. Yeah. 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 It's very funny. We have quotes that say it's hilarious. Oh, okay. Well, then that, <laughs> that justifies it. Exactly. How do you promote in New York? Is it like, because there's probably, I would imagine, so many people performing and doing so many different oh shows. God. Yeah. How do you stand, like if you do a show here, there's a good chance you're the only one doing a show that night. Right. But yeah. in New York, that's probably not, not Especially the, case. the style that we do, especially doing cabaret style shows, nobody else in, in this area does them. So I think that's why we've had such a great response. Yeah. Yeah. Carry on. Okay, go ahead. Come on through. It's all right. Okay. It's like we're in New York. I know, right? That takes me right home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so can you say that line again, just in case we don't use that? I was watching the show you guys did at the company house. It's on the internet now. Yeah. Did you know what? You seem like you're what? surprised. What? Yeah. You seem on it. Or, <laughs> What part? What part? You were singing. Yeah. And you were smiling. Oh. And loves you as before. You take her in your lonely arms and want okay. her. Was it French? Was it a bit of a French song? It was sounded French. Yeah. Sounded yeah. And, and was he crying? <laughs> the clip I so saw, you looked happy. Yeah. But oh, I guess maybe good. that could have been. Yeah. yeah. I think I know which clip that is, and okay. that's from our first show. Okay. Yeah. Now before before we go on, we'll we'll have B-roll there. Did she lose us? Is she? I don't know. <laughs> I feel I, bad I, now. I feel like where was she when you were she, talking? She was she at said, a payphone, which should have been close. She was at a payphone. Yeah, like she called from a payphone. She said she said she was outside the building. Did you tell her the building? Yep. Okay, told her the she, address. She wasn't outside that building. No. <laughs> There's no way. I just assumed she knew Halifax, but I guess. No, she she put it out of her mind. She has an aversion to Halifax, I think. That's like me. As soon as I do a show, if you ask me to do that show a week after that, yeah, no, there's no way. You. I it. download it immediately. It's gone. Yeah, yeah it's gone. Yeah. Um, so I guess that's what happens with uh, cities as well. Yeah, but, you just put it, put it in the back of your mind. Well, I feel bad. I feel yeah. like she's uh, she's Long lost. Yeah. Outside. Oh well. I told her. I told her Barrington and Sackville. Let her interrupt. Spring Garden and okay, Spring Garden and Sackville. So do you guys prefer to audition for stage as opposed to film, or is it, is there, does it matter to you? I do both. Yeah. I do both, yeah. I think stage is my, is what I enjoy yeah. the most. I don't quite get film. <laughs> uh -oh. We'll edit that out. We don't want to have you make any enemies. Uh -oh. Well, that'll be your quote. <laughs> yeah. I don't quite get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> it's the apples and oranges. It's completely yeah. Most different. people can't do both, yeah. right? It's such, it's such a different style of acting that it's just like... We can do it all. We can do whatever it takes. <laughs> Featuring. Yeah. Us. Yeah. Wow, that was cool. Yeah. That was cool. Oh yeah, we rehearsed those things. Wow. What's our what's our tagline? We, we can, can justify, justify anything. anything. <laughs> no? I like no, I liked it. I liked it. I just didn't know what to do when it was happening. <laughs> Felt uncomfortable. That's right. Yes, okay, come <laughs> towards, back towards the building where you were. She passed us. How did you Weren't you on Barrington earlier? Okay, do you know where, do you know where Venus Envy is or Reflections or the Starbucks? She just got us sued by three companies. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so let's pretend to have a conversation that okay. she can inter interrupt. Okay. Say right. something. Talk about oh. your childhood. My no, child. No. <laughs> My uh, child. Talk about how great New York is compared to LA. 
Oh my God, LA has no soul. Yeah. <laughs> New York well, is like so lovely. Right. Yeah, LA seriously has no soul. Uh oh. Uh oh. Who's Here this? Oh my God. Roll out the red down. carpet. Hello. Bow down. Hi. Nice to see you. What's going on? Nice to see you. How are you? It's been a few years. It's been about eight years. No, not eight. It's been eight years. Yeah. It can't be eight. It's been eight years. Eight? This is the uh, for all the folks at home that don't care for me very much. This is the person that basically started my career back in the day. Wow. I don't think that's any understatement. I suggested that maybe you'd have a good personality for acting and... No, no, I remember... Well, you did, <laughs> yeah, but I, I would say 100% if it wasn't for you, I would not be in the entertainment industry. Wow. Not that I am. Amazing. No, you but, are, you are. But I'm at the very bottom no. rung. <laughs> no. But I wouldn't I even be on the ladder if it wasn't for you. At least, you you know, you have a show that's quite yeah. a, you know... It's true. Yeah, that is, you know, and what I they saw say, be, be nice to the people on the on the way up because they're the same <laughs> right. people you see on the way down. Yeah, that's right. That is what they say. I like that one. And he played a pirate <laughs> just like Johnny Depp yeah. like a few weeks ago. That's I right. noticed yeah. that. It was very Johnny Depp. That's quite Depp an accomplishment, right? That is, yeah. yeah. We don't that's mention that show. Though. Get their we don't mention the show. Well, because all my, of us. My agents. I wasn't. But right. I would have if I'd been in. You the would country. have been there. Yeah. Of course. Uh, yeah. I, we set a seat aside for you, and every night it was empty, and every night. Every night I would look up, and you wouldn't be there, and I would. I know. Had I your headshot on it, like at the yeah. Well, I considered shows. sending right. roses, yeah. and alas, it didn't come into fruition. It's <laughs> unfortunate. Alas. Um, no, but my agent doesn't like it when I talk about uh, shows I've done for free. Right. Well, of course we not. understand that. You know, yeah. she needs to get her commission, and yeah, you know, if you're not giving it, you, you know, you can't give it if it's a free show. So. That is true. Well, so for the record, I did not do the pantomime show that you were referencing several times. No, not in the at interview. all. I saw him as a pirate in my dreams, I guess. <laughs> That's right. I don't know. It was a feature film. That <laughs> yes, it was a feature film starring yeah. Karen and, and Yes, Tyler. I saw the red carpet premiere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't do that short film. No, of course Forget not. that. No. No. We don't usually swear. I don't want you to feel like this is a low budget show. Because it, but it you, isn't. It at isn't all. at all. Really? No. no, but you yeah. had some trouble. Can we talk about you had some trouble uh, yes. finding us today or is that? Uh, she, what happened I there? She's gonna blame My me. lovely friend Karen <laughs> is not the best at directing words. <laughs> so she had a different account of it before you guys yeah. you know, I told you because she confused Spring Garden and Barrington, which, you know, I don't We're live here have so. To roll the tape it's a very back. fair it's a fair thing. What she I said because Spring Stor Garden and Sackville, which do not meet. Right. Alas. <laughs> Alas. Now, no, you, you think you said Barrington. I said Barrington and no. Sackville. No. Yeah, and no. I said all those She said stores. Spring Garden. I think she confused the place we cannot name because there's one that may happen to be also in Spring Garden. Right. We can oh, see it. I Which is see. fair. Yeah. She visualized oh, yeah. the wrong. Them. I don't know. Just two of them. Well, we, we, the, the audience has already seen the footage, so we played back because so we recorded her. Fortunately, we'll be able to, you know. I have a bad feeling about this. I know. I don't think it's going to fare <laughs> I feel well. I like I lost. Just tell her to interrupt. Spring Garden and, okay, Spring Garden and Sackville. But it's okay. But you finally found us, and we I were just talking us. about, um, uh, see you. yeah, we, we found, we were talking about sort of, because you've been in New York, can we I say have. that? I I've been there for the last seven years. Well, three and a half, I was in L.A. Right. So the rest of it, I went back and forth. I was kind of bi-coastal even then, so. Yeah. So yeah. how would you compare uh, being an actress in New York as opposed to L.A.? I would say in L.A., it's easier to pay your bills strictly with acting. But you're also kind of compromising the quality of the work because a lot of the time you will probably do cliche teen movies and products, or, which you know pay a little better. But yeah. artistically, there's no need to go to acting school to be in them. You know what I mean? So. Wow, you're you're already one of the most candid guests we've ever had on the show. That's <laughs> well, amazing. I mean, I think there's I think there's truth to it that you know if you're willing to play off your looks, LA is kind of the place to be because, you know, if you're cute and young, you can probably get work. But if you actually want to be a serious artist. I'd say there's more of an opportunity and venue for that in New York. So, which I'm sure all of you agree yeah. that New York well, is Well, I really said LA has no soul, so. Oh, yeah. I think it has a soul. I, I, I think just think the same thing. I think you just have to work your way up to work with people with soul because they're so in demand in such a vapid place. God, this really makes me sound like I hate LA and I, I don't. Yeah, we're gonna, well, we've already <laughs> have Stuart uh, talking about how he hates film and he sees no point in it. <laughs> really? So we're, we're gonna edit well, that, that together. That's yeah. gonna be your demo reel. I don't reel. think I said quite that. Yeah. I don't know. I think in New York, talent stands out more than it does in Los Angeles because it's such a rat race. That's what I found anyway. Yeah, yeah. You know. 
Speaking of paying your dues, I think oh. we should go and get to work. Shall we? Okay. We're, we're, we've got our show coming up in uh, Montreal on February 3rd and New York on February 5th. That's so right. The venue, of course. Uh, the venue is at uh, the Tony Lounge, the Tony in, New Lounge in New York City. That's at New oh, World wow. Stages, and Montreal is TBA, I guess, to be yep. announced, yes. Well, we'll have it on the screen by the time this airs. Exactly. So it's right exactly. there. Exciting. So there you have it. See you there. See you there. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Tyler. All right. Yes, thank Let's you, go. Tyler. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. It's a pleasure. <laughs> oh, we'll be in our trailer, I guess. Are you guys going to see uh, Are you gonna see her show? <laughs> uh, always. I'm always oh, right there. Oh, of course. Yeah, okay. yeah, of course. Yes. I've been to most we'll be there. of them. Of You've course. been to everything. Everything been that I've been in the for. same country at the time to see. <laughs> they were magical. Magical. They frolic off into the night. So the now, now that the lower... Okay, so in New York, what what are some of the things that? So, uh, okay, no, go ahead. No, well, no. I'll just say New York and you just jump <laughs> and I'll right just into keep it. Keep talking. Yeah. Um, do you want me to look at the camera or look at you? Yeah, you can go back and forth. Okay. It's pretty wide open. No so, rules. Okay. Yeah, I did four films this year, and this year as in 2011 in New York, I did a cool little film noir film called Locked Up with a Swedish director. That was a four-person like ensemble drama about lesbians, kind of like the L word but they're going for more like artistic cred and less like scandalous. That's a, stuff. We'll, wait, we'll wait for this bus. Is that, okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. Is that, so that's a film or a that's show? That's a film that I just did um, called Locked Up. Okay. They need to do, finish a couple days of principal photography when they get, but the director lives in Sweden and only came out for the oh. shoot. I thought it was titled Locked Up with a Swedish director. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Which is a good idea that too. That would be, yeah. but alas, this one's about lesbians, which is also generally considered a good idea, at least from, you know, distributors' right. standpoints. <laughs> is that a technique they use to get attention? They, they know if they throw that storyline in? I think so, but it's not gratuitous at all. Like, there okay. are, I think there are absolutely no sex scenes in this movie. Oh, you can't even say that word on the oh, show. No. no. Can you rephrase that? <laughs> there are absolutely no love scenes, scenes of a graphic nature. <laughs> But there may be, for those that are looking there, for that. There's definitely some attractive things. I play a young dominatrix which was a really fun role because normally I play more like sweet girl or like pregnant teenagers all the time. So in LA, you spent some yes. time in LA. Three and a half years. Three and a half years. Yes. We were talking earlier about uh, people, lo the Canadians losing their dialects. Yes. Was, that, was that an issue for you at all? I had to take a lesson. I took an Americanese class before I even left Halifax. Really? And when I got out there, they were like, you have to lose your accent. Um, they said it was like words like with C-A-R that a lot of Canadians say car, and they soften it and say car. Oh. Yeah, and What also, is it? It's car? Car. Oh. Instead of car, which oh, my yeah. mother and all of my family says. Right. And then they also definitely you know, called me out on the out and about thing. Right. So that was That's a big the classic thing. one, right? Right. Yeah. And mouth and, and house. What's and mouth? Also. Oh, it's, we say mouth. mouth. Right. Oh, my God. And those ones, like, right away, you won't sound American, and then you can't play someone's daughter or sister or niece or whatever. Right. So it's trying to just seem as all-American as you can. You seem pretty good at it right now, though. I've, I mean, I've been there for seven years, so. Right. <laughs> do you, so do you use it in your everyday life now? It's just... It's, I do. I mean, I pretty much, even with my mother, I talk to her every day on the phone, and we kind of have an agreement when she talks to me, she has to lose her Nova Scotianisms, so right. I don't, like, revert back. Yeah, yeah. So now you're in, you're in New York now. I'm in New York. I've been, I'm in all three actors' unions in the States, so, which has been pretty cool, and most, that means I have to, unfortunately, do all union work, which right. made it a little harder, because there's so much work in the States that's non-union. A whole lot. Can you do the thing where you sign like an agreement or is that? Yes, is that... you can do like Screen Actors Guild low budget films, which is great. That helps a lot of filmmakers, you know, get their work out there. Right. What have been some of the uh, the highlights of New York for you? Like a lot of the, a lot of actors watching the show on the East Coast of Canada. Because you, you went there when you were little. 17. Yeah, yeah I remember yeah. you leaving. Yeah, it was terrifying yeah. and exciting. And exciting and terrifying. <laughs> so what would your advice be to like a, a young, a young Sonia O'Hara. Watching this right now, young Sonia O'Hara. I would say O'Hara. that you should go right out of school. Like, don't no, don't hesitate at all. A lot of the schools out there make you sign something saying you're not going to audition while in school, which I think is counterintuitive because the best way is to go out there, fall on your face, make mistakes, and then still go back to school and and learn what you're doing wrong. So I auditioned anyway. 
I, really? when I was in a conservatory. I auditioned the whole time. I got gigs while I was in school, which was great because then even before I'd graduated, I'd been reviewed in the New York Times for theater and I'd gotten to do like some significant cool theater productions and some film. So by the time we had our school showcase, I felt really prepared and had professional credits. So when I met agencies, I was able to have a leg up. Cool. So just get out there at a really young age and just do it because most work for girls is really young. Yeah. You know, it's unfortunate. Guys have like longevity in this career and a lot of their work won't begin until they're like 30, 40, 50 years old. But if you're an ingenue type, you need to do it when you're really young and it can't be seen enough. Now, what were some of the struggles you faced when you, uh, when you first got there as a um, Canadian actress? Well, I didn't have paperwork yet. I was on a student visa, so I was only allowed to accept work within acting, which was great because, yes, it was hard financially, but it gave me such incentive to get work because I couldn't pay the bills like other people waiting tables. It had to be acting-related work. That's interesting. So that was good because it made me more motivated than a lot of my peers. You've overcome all that now, yeah, though. You're yeah, this yeah. huge star. <laughs> huge star in New York. On my way, working my way up. Is there anything you want to sort of shamelessly plug? Yes. At this point, any upcoming projects? Yes. Um, I did a film last year called The Victorville Massacre that just went to a film festival in Los Angeles this year. So I got to go to Hollywood with the film to promote it, and it won fan favorite at the festival and got distribution. And I'm the lead in Victorville Massacre, and it's a fun teen horror movie where I make it almost to the end. I'm into the final five minutes, but I won't tell you what happened. It's pretty good. And that there was a person on the panel at that festival named Tom DeSanto who produced the X-Men movies and also Transformers. Cool. So he liked the film and kind of backed it, which was helpful. That's awesome. And I have an upcoming sci-fi film where I'm the lead that's kind of in the vein of Aliens. Cool. Can we say the name of it? Um, it's just an untitled Alien okay. feature right now. But Maybe I get we'll to have play... the title on the screen. <laughs> yes, knock on wood. And I have another film that I did some of the filming for called Leading Lady where I, ironically I play another lesbian actress. So I don't know if that is the new teen pregnancy thing, but I keep on getting cast in that stuff. It's kind of your gimmick now, right? Right, maybe it's the red hair, I don't know, but. I am gonna be playing Ashton Kutcher's girlfriend. Ooh, any sex scenes? Ooh, you know, I don't know, <laughs> but maybe. Yeah, yeah, so I have those films coming up, and this year I did three films, so it's kind of been, I've been mostly doing film even though I moved to New York you know, with theater aspirations. It's him. What? The bruise. The killer must have given it to me when we got into a fight. No, no, you got it because Steven hit you over the head with a shovel. You're doing much better than Karen and no, Stuart, no, right? No, we're in entirely different fields. No, no, you're doing much better. No. And you know what? You could have <laughs> saved Melrose Place. This could have saved no. it. You started my career. I thank oh, you for it was that. A Best of luck. Thank you.